everybody. It's Justin Shackle with Yankees On Demand, presented by AT&T. We are getting you set up for the Yankees' first series of the season against an American League East opponent. First up, it's the defending division champion Toronto Blue Jays. Game one of the three-game set coming up on Tuesday night in Toronto. And it is a small sample size, but the Yankees offense has been clicking throughout the first week. They lead the American League in runs, RBIs, and OPS, all ranking third in all of baseball with a 292 team batting average. Being able to fight fire with fire and keep up with the talented Blue Jays lineup is something the Yankees must do to win this series. Normally, it's mainly with power, but a new element from this lineup that has emerged in the early going has been base running. The Yankees already have five stolen bases in five games. Last season, the Yankees didn't swipe their fifth back until their 11th game. Joe Girardi said he doesn't put much stock in a starting pitcher's first outing, but it's going to be intriguing to see if the three pitchers going in this series can progress while pitching in a controlled weather environment over in Toronto's Rogers Center. Giving length and not going to the bullpen early against the Blue Jays lineup is a big test this week. The Blue Jays came back to win the American League East last season and were the trendy pick to win it again this season. But the Yankees are looking for revenge after having some heated battles with Toronto during the second half of 2015. Ten out of 13 games played after the All-Star break between the Blue Jays and Yankees were decided by four runs or less. The Yankees faced the Jays 19 times this season and it won't hurt to make an early statement by winning the first series of the season against Toronto. After being rained out on Sunday night in Detroit, Yankees ace Masahiro Tanaka heads to the mound on seven days rest to pitch opposite of Toronto's Aaron Sanchez. Tanaka started on opening day against a talented Astros lineup and allowed two runs over five and two-thirds. Tanaka held Toronto to a 185 batting average in four starts last season while striking out 26 and walking five in four starts, which included his lone complete game of the season. Meanwhile, Aaron Sanchez will make his first ever start against the Yankees. He allowed just a run in seven innings of work against Tampa in his first start. In game two on Wednesday night, Michael Pineda will head to the mound trying to bounce back after struggling in his season debut. He has history on his side, owning a 10-3 career record in the month of April with a 3.09 ERA in 15 starts. We'll see if Big Mike can keep up those numbers while opposing journeyman Jay Happ. This is his second go-around with the Blue Jays after finding success last season and making 11 starts with the Pirates. In the series finale on Thursday night, Nate Evaldi will head to the mound. And it'll be power versus power in this matchup, as Evaldi's big-time fastball and emerging splitter will go up against a team that could lead baseball in home runs for a second straight year. He limited the Jays to just a run over six and a third innings in his lone start against them last season. Ovaldi will have to be on his A game thanks to Marcus Stroman, who's become one of the top young pitchers in the American League East at just 24 years of age. So there you have it. You are all set for the Yankees and the Blue Jays in Toronto starting Tuesday night. For Yankees On Demand, presented by AT&T, I'm Justin Shackle. You can see more Yankees On Demand and scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right here.